Okay, so to use Open Insights U2 Connector, we start off in the Database Manager. Once we get into the Database Manager, we go to Utilities, Other MV Tables, and we choose U2 Connection Setup. Inside this U2 Connection Setup screen, we basically fill in these blanks, click on the Attach Tables button, and we'll find out whether or not we successfully connected to a U2 data server. So the first thing that is required is a volume name. Clicking on the Search button, I see that we have a number of connections already defined. I'll skip all these for right now, and we're going to create a brand new one called Info. So I'll type in the word Info. It's called Info2. Now the Shadow Dict location is where Open Insight is going to create shadow dictionaries, so local versions of the U2 dictionaries, because we don't want to mess with the original ones that have been defined back on the U2 data server. The server name is the name or the location of the U2 data server and I'm going to connect to a local data server here. Login ID is the ID that you needed to log into that U2 application, and mine is set up right now for administrator. Go ahead and enter that. Next thing we have is the password. I'm not going to tell you what that is. Just enter it in there. The account or directory. I know that I have some data in the C colon backslash info subdirectory. Multi-tiered subkey is used for some pretty esoteric uh, U2 connection information, we basically leave it blank. And the logon proc is a process that you want to run on the U2 side when you log in. So if you want to specify a certain user, a certain number of tables, a certain volume, things like that, that's where you do that operation. So basically, I have the information here that I need now. So I'll click on Attach Tables. And what it's doing right now is that it's going to that subdirectory. It's finding all the information on the universe or unit data tables. In this case, they're universe tables. It's going to attach those tables, that is, effectively make them available to Open Insight to use. And then we're good to go. You see that we've connected it. The two machines are in sync, which in fact they ought to be since I'm running on my local PC here. And then we're all very happy. So I'll just click on OK here. And now you see in the database manager, we have a new listing. Aside from Open Insight tables, we have U2 tables. Take a look at that. We have the Info2, which is the volume that I called it. And we can scroll down the whole list and see all the tables. If I click on one, like customer here, what we're going to do is at this point create the shadow dictionary for it. And in fact, here is all the shadow dictionary columns. These are the fields in my tables on the universe side. If I take a look at the buyer one field, just double click on it. It'll bring up our dictionary window, the open insight dictionary window, and we can see some of our options here. This is actually covered in a different tutorial, so I'm going to cancel out of here. But you can pretty much see how easy it is to set up a connection to a U2 server. You go into the Open Insight Database Manager, choose Utilities, Other MV Tables, and the U2 Connection Setup. Fill in the blanks over here. Click on Attach Tables, and then OK. OK, we had some fun doing this. We'll uh, talk to you guys soon. Thanks.